Let's start your investment journey. Hi and welcome to another edition of our weekly market outlook report for the week starting Monday the 25th of October. The week starts with slow economic calendar on Monday. On Tuesday, pay attention to US housing data and consumer confidence figures. Moving on, Australian consumer price index data, US durable goods, Bank of Canada interest rate decision and statements, in addition to the US weekly crude oil inventories, will be closely watched on Wednesday. On Thursday, Bank of Japan and also ECB interest rate decisions and both press conferences will be closely watched, in addition to US initial jobless claims and preliminary GDP quarter three figures. The week will finish on Friday with Australian retail sales, data for September, Eurozone preliminary GDP quarter three figures and consumer price index for October. In the afternoon, pay attention to Canada GDP figures and US and Michigan Consumer Sentiment Index. Now, let's take a look at few markets. Let's start with the Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin price action appears to be a sideways uh, consolidation, uh, basically a bullish uh, continuation pattern uh, in overall uptrending market. The price action is uh, trading above uh, multiple moving averages and uh, it's creating the sequence of higher lows. Key trading level going forward is at 60,000, possibly even 59,450. So it's a quite a big range there. As long as that level holds, bulls are in charge. If we see a rally from there and a breakout in, a, in addition uh, to this uh, falling uh, resistance trend line above 64,000, 64,900, that could possibly trigger the extension to the upside targeting additional resistances at 68,350, 70,000, nice and round number, possibly even 77,200 over a longer period of time. Alternatively, if we see a rally and a rejection or possibly a dip lower and the loss of uh, 59,450, a daily close below that level and a retest of that level from underneath as a newly found resistance could possibly signify a deeper corrective move, consolidation, targeting additional support towards 56,000, possibly even 53,000, 50,500 to the downside. This is German 40 or uh, the DAX index, which appears to be creating a bullish breakout above this previous falling resistance trend line, which is now a support breakout and the retest, breakout and the retest. Key trading level going forward is at 15,500. Sounds familiar. We talked about that level over and over and over again. Pull back to that level and a rally or a rally from the current uh, levels and a daily close above 15,650 could trigger the extension of this bullish run targeting additional resistances towards 15,800, 15,900, possibly even 16,000, 16,050 over a longer period of time. Alternatively, if you see a gradual move lower and the loss of 15,500, that could open the way for another retest of this previous falling resistance trend line, which is now support at 15,400. Nasdaq or US tech index also appears to be creating a sideways consolidation uh, after this fairly significant bullish breakout. Key trading level going forward is at 15,200. Pull back to that level and a rally or a rally from the current levels and a breakout, an end of day close above 15,500. Retest of that level from above as a newly found support could open the way for the extension to the upside, targeting additional resistances towards 15,700, 15,800, possibly even towards 16,000 over a longer period of time. 
Alternatively, if you see a corrective pullback, loss of 15,200, that could possibly open the way for a gradual move lower, targeting additional support at the cluster of these previous lows, highs and lows here uh, towards 15,100, possibly even 15,000, 14,950. Now let's talk about uh, euro dollar. Euro dollar appears to be creating uh, a rising wedge uh, in overall downtrending markets. Uh, key trading level going forward is at one spot 1620. Uh, rally from that level could open the way for a gradual move higher, targeting resistance at one spot 1680 once again. Breakout above that level and end of day close above that level could create a short squeeze potentially targeting additional resistance on the upside towards one spot 1750 one spot 1780 one spot 18 on the upside alternatively if this bearish scenario persists therefore we see a selling pressure from here loss and end of day close below one spot 1620 retest of that level from underneath as a newly found resistance then this rising wedge formation in overall downtrending market could possibly play out as the extension to the downside targeting one spot 1580 one spot 1540 possibly even one spot 15 one spot 1480 to the downside sterling dollar is coming to uh, the resistance and oversold bounce back into resistance which was held uh, the price moving higher in the past uh, currently at one spot 3850 which is our key trading level as long as that level holds bears are in charge so therefore rally and a rejection or a gradual move lower loss of 137 possibly a retest of that level from underneath as a newly found resistance could open the way for the extension to the downside targeting additional support at one spot 36.50 one spot 36.30 one spot 35.80 one spot 35 to the downside alternatively we see a rally and a breakout an end of day close above one spot 38.50 uh, that could trigger a short squeeze potentially looking for the extension to the upside targeting additional resistances at one spot 39 one spot 39.50 possibly even one spot 40. US dollar strength uh, clearly exhibited here in dollar Japanese yen with this bullish run sequence of higher lows. This appears to be a sideways consolidation and energy buildup. Key trading level going forward is at 113, 112.85. So this is a zone of about 15 points there. Pull back to that level and a rally or a rally from the current levels and a breakout above the current swing high at 114.60 could open the way for the continuation of this uptrending market targeting additional resistances towards 115 possibly even 116 over a medium time frame alternatively if you see a dip lower and a loss of 112.85 a daily close below that level and a retest of that level from underneath as a newly found resistance that could trigger a deeper corrective pullback targeting 100 and 12 initially which is our 29th of september swing high and 200 period moving average in four hourly uh, and possibly even 111 40 111 to the downside Now, uh, let's talk about gold. Gold appears to be uh, attempting to create a bullish breakout once again. Uh, it's clearly capped by uh, 1800 uh, area, psychologically important level. Uh, a push higher and end of day close above 1800 could open the way for the move higher extension to the upside, targeting additional resistances at 1824, 1843 possibly even 1850 1875 over a medium time frame 
Alternatively, if we see uh, a further selling pressure, a loss of this a little rising trend line, therefore a dip below 17.74, a retest of that level from underneath as a newly found resistance that could trigger a deeper corrective pullback targeting this zone here uh, as a support 17.50, possibly even 17.24 to the downside. Lastly, let's talk about crude oil. Crude oil had a nice uh, long bullish run, sequence of higher lows, sequence of higher highs, the price is creating move higher, corrective pullback, move higher, corrective pullback, higher, corrective pullback and so on. This is a sideways consolidation in overall very bullish uptrending market. Key trading level going forward is at 81.30 pullback to that level and a rally would be bullish or a breakout and a move higher above the current swing highs targeting additional resistances towards 85 86 possibly even 88 60 over a medium time frame alternatively if you see uh, a selling pressure and a loss of 8130 retest of that level from underneath could open the way for a deeper corrective pullback targeting additional supports at 80 followed by 78 77 60 levels thank you for watching thank you for listening stay safe and happy trading bye for now let's start your investment journey